Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And another great way to keep in touch with me is to sign up with my newsletter on my website linked down below for you guys. I would love to have you as part of that as well. I send emails about sales and new videos and things like that, so definitely check that out down below. In today's video, we're going to use some products from the Mystery Box, which I think is really fun, but I'll link everything down below in case you didn't get a Mystery Box, and you can get all the supplies to make these as well. We are going to use the hand sanitizer holders that came in the Mystery Box. Now, depending on when you got your box, you may have received a white one, or you may have received this adorable pink striped one. We ran out of the white ones and then went with the pink, so if you have one or the other, no worries. We just ran out of a little bit of stock, but these are so fun. I love the hand sanitizer holders. I feel like this is going to be something that we're going to need for a really long time, and they are really fun to personalize. So you're going to need some hand sanitizer holders, and then there are two different holographic vinyl that you may have received. You get one that has smaller sparkles or one that has bigger sparkles. So again, depending on when you got your box, may depend on which one of these you got, but they're pretty much the same other than the size of the sparkle. And to be honest with you, I really debated between which one I wanted to include in my box. So we ran out of a little bit of stock of the small sparkle, so we went with a few of you getting the big sparkle. But again, everything about them other than the size of the sparkle is the same. And then you'll need some StarCraft Softflex. This is my favorite HTV, and I wanted to make sure I included a couple colors in the box because this is such a fun product to work with. And don't worry, we're going to do more with the StarCraft in a future video. But this is such a fun product, and it's one of my favorites, and that's why I included it in the box. So let's go over to the computer. We're going to start in Inkscape, where I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to do an offset with text. We'll take that into Cricut Design Space and get it ready to cut, and then we'll be able to cut these awesome hand sanitizer holders and get everything applied. For this design, we are going to start in Inkscape, and you can download Inkscape at inkscape.org. I'm going to try to go really slow for you guys so that you can follow along, but absolutely take notes. It really makes a difference when working with Inkscape. We're going to do a word with offset for the hand sanitizer holders. Now, I have two that came in the mystery box. You either got the white one or you got the pink and white, like lighter pink striped one. Um, we ran out of white, so we went and added the pink stripe because that one is super cute. And when I originally did the box, I wanted the pink and white and light stripes, but they were not in stock. So some of you got a cool pink and uh, stripey one, and then others got a white one. So what we're going to do in Inkscape, over on the left-hand side, click this A and click anywhere on your screen and then just type in whatever you want to use as your text. I'm just going to use my name. Now I'm going to use a font that I got from um, Design Bundles. I'll link it below for you guys. It's one of my favorites and it is this CLN Before Forever and we're going to use Before Forever 1 because that's the script. Now you'll notice that it's really, really small and really hard to see. In order to make that bigger, what you're gonna do is up in the upper left-hand corner, click on this arrow, which is the Select and Transform object, and you're gonna hold Control on your keyboard and pull the arrow out. It's important that you hold Control. If you don't, it's going to mess with the um, proportions. I'm gonna do this without holding Control and show you what I mean. See how I can kind of pull it all kinds of crazy ways? That is like when you unlock a shape in Design Space. So I'm just going to click Edit and undo that so that everything is still the way it should be. And the next thing that I want to make sure that everybody clicks is up in the upper right-hand corner. It is this little box with an arrow between the two boxes. This is the snapping tool, and we want to make sure that we unlock that. Like, we don't want that selected. What that does is it's going to mess with our offset, um, so it's best just to go ahead and unselect that before we do anything else. The next thing that we need to do is turn our text into a path. And in order to do that, we're going to go up here to where it says path up in the uh, little selections up here. Click on path, and the very first selection is object to path. Go ahead and select that. Once you've done that, you need to do a couple other things to make sure that we can use this with the offset. So now what we're going to do is go to Object, 
and you're going to click on group. What that does is it makes each of your letters individual. So it's, it's like what you do in design space when you ungroup them. Then we're going to go back to path and we're going to click union. That is like welding in design space, but it makes it all one piece. That way we can use the linked offset. Now what we're going to do is go to path and down towards the bottom. It's about what six up from the bottom is this linked offset. You're going to go ahead and click that. Somewhere on your text, you will see a small diamond. Mine's right here at the top of the C. Before you do anything else, change the color of that offset. You need to change it down here in the bottom. You can pick any color. It doesn't matter what color you use. And that's going to make it so you can see how wide your offset's going to be. So just going to go ahead and pull that out. You can make it as wide as you want or as small as you want. It's up to you, whatever you want. I think that is where I want mine. Now we need to change this offset to a path as well. So what you're going to do is go to path, click object to path. And then there's some holes in this that we don't really want. I want it fully solid. So what you're going to do is go to path. And you want to go down to where it says break apart right under combine. It's about midway down and click break apart. Then what you need to do is go to path and union. What that does is it removes all of the little holes in your offset. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my selection tool and I'm going to pull my words off so you can see my offset. Simple as that, it's really easy to do, and we are completely done in Inkscape. But what we need to do now is go ahead and save this. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Save As, and I'm just going to save it as an Inkscape SVG. I'm going to call this Offset Name, and I'm going to click Save. You can go ahead and close Inkscape. Now what you'll do is over in Design Space, you can just open up a new canvas and you're going to click Upload, which is on the left hand side towards the bottom. Now what we'll do is click the word Upload Image and click Browse. You'll want to find where you put your design and I try to keep mine pretty well organized. Um, so you'll find where you put your design and select it. Now your um, design your SVG may show as an internet browser um, document, which is okay. It's just the way your computer is set up, but that is going to be your SVG. Mine shows as a Microsoft Edge. Yours might be Chrome or Safari, but it's totally okay. Just select that one and you'll see here is our design. Go ahead and click save. Simple as that, we've uploaded to Design Space. Now what you want to do is under your recently uploaded images, click on the image that you want to use. So in this case, we're using our offset name and click insert images. Now it's probably going to insert at the wrong size. It's okay. Cricut Design Space and um, Inkscape don't really communicate really well when it comes to sizing. So I don't typically size anything in Inkscape because I have to resize it in Design Space anyways. So with our um, sanitizer holders, we can go about two inches because I'm going to put these at an angle. So I do need to size this down a little bit. So I'm just going to change it down to a little under two inches. They do look really small on here, but they look much larger on your um, hand sanitizer holder. So don't worry too much about that. They're still going to look really, really cute because we're going to add a couple little fun things to them just to kind of jazz them up. So I actually want to do two of these because we're going to do two separate um, designs to show you guys on the pink stripes and the white stripes, but you can do them any way that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. Now I am going to actually cut the um, name in two separate colors because I have the two different holographics because again, we had a, a little bit of a stock problem, but we wanted to make sure that you guys got um, these mystery boxes. So one has um, a smaller sparkle to it and one has the larger. So just to differentiate because I want to use both, I'm just going to change the color of one of my names because I'm going to cut those in two separate colors. So that way we can just kind of make sure it cuts them. But what we're going to do is we're just going to add some fun little shapes around them just to kind of jazz them up a little bit. And I'm just going to do some really small stars. 
And the one thing I love about the holographic HTV is that you can cut pretty small designs and they work really, really well and it's so fun. But all I'm gonna do is just duplicate the stars a couple of times. I'm just sort of laying them out. I may not actually put them in this order, but I'm just gonna cut a bunch of stars and hearts so that we can kind of add a little bit of fun to these. I just think it's a fun way to use the HTV and really fill out your um, hand sanitizer holder. So it's just really cool. You can do pretty much anything you want. Paw prints are fun. I mean, you don't have to do shapes, but what we can do is just duplicate our heart a bunch of times. And to make sure that they do cut in the correct color, we're gonna use the color sync option. A lot of people don't know this exists, but it's super handy. So what I'm gonna do is over here in the upper right hand section, right above your layers tab, right above duplicate, it says color sync. If you click on that, it brings up your layers tab and you can move items on your layers tab into the right color. So I wanna cut all the stars the same color as I cut the um, little light purple Corinne. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the hearts in the same color as the black. So all I'm doing is clicking and dragging into that box that contains the color I want to use. Simple as that, it's really, really easy. And it makes sure that all of your stuff is the same color. Because if you import an SVG, sometimes the blacks are slightly off. That's just one of those kind of silly things that I, I've learned over the years. Now, I think I'm gonna do both sides of the hand sanitizer holder. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate one of these hearts and make it bigger so that we can put it on the other side of our hand sanitizer holder. Now these, you get about one and a half inches by two inches. So you kind of wanna keep in mind about the size that you have to work with. So I can go about two and a quarter inches tall or about one and a half inches wide. So I think that's a pretty good size for our heart. And then we'll do a star on the other side because why not? And then we're gonna go ahead and make this one the size so we can fit that one in there. I think that looks pretty good. Now that we have everything sized, we're gonna cut that hot pink with Starcraft Soft Flex, and then we're gonna cut the light purple and the black with the holographic HTV. But something to remember is that you need to mirror your design. We don't need to mirror our hearts or our stars, but we do wanna make sure that we mirror our names. I personally like to mirror on my canvas and not after I click make it. Sometimes Design Space doesn't always register it when you do it after you hit make it. So what I do is I go up to flip and I just flip it horizontal. That automatically mirrors it and you don't have to worry about remembering to do it after you hit make it. For me, it's really been very, very helpful so that I remember that I need to mirror things and I never forget. Now what we'll do is hit make it and I'll show you the different mats that we'll have because we're gonna have three mats. Now it is gonna cut a little bit out of order and that's okay because we didn't attach anything. I didn't want to, I'm gonna lay my hearts out and my stars by themselves. So we have our black, which is one set of holographic HTV. We have the light purple, which is another set of holographic HTV. And then we have this bright pink, which is gonna be the Starcraft. These do need to be cut on different cut settings. We cut the holographic on light cardstock and we cut the Starcraft soft flex on just the everyday iron on setting. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set those settings. It's really, really easy. To set our settings for a holographic, we cut that on the light cardstock setting. You don't need to do anything special, just go ahead and set it right on light cardstock and it will cut beautifully. Now, I do always recommend doing some test cuts if you're new to a product. So maybe just cut out one little star to test it on that light cardstock setting and make sure that setting works for your machine. Everybody's machine is gonna be a little bit different, so it is really important before you waste any materials to go ahead and do a test cut. We're gonna be cutting the holographic Caesar HTV first. So like I said, some of you are gonna have the smaller um, sparkles and some of you will have the bigger sparkles. It was just a stock issue, but we wanted to make sure that you guys are still able to get the boxes. And honestly, I love these both. They are both so pretty. So a lot of people will tell you to put your shiny side down when you're doing HTV. And in this case, that's absolutely true. You can see the difference. This is the back of the sheets. But I always like to make sure you guys know that's the carrier sheet side. 
and not all HTV is gonna have a shiny side. So you wanna make sure that you're putting the carrier sheet side down. In this case, it's gonna be this really sparkly colored side. So we're gonna start with the small sparkles first. And again, we're cutting this with the light cardstock setting. So all I'm gonna do is lay this down on my mat. And what I like to do when I'm working with really long pieces is you can see I drape it over my machine and then I just lay it down on my mat just at the very top. And then I just pull my mat out from under my machine and lay my HTV down on that. It just makes it a little bit easier. So when you're loading your mat, make sure you're under the two white tabs and give your mat a little bit of pressure when you hit the load button from behind. That'll help it load completely. I'll go ahead and let you guys watch this one cut. Once it's done cutting, you can just hit the unload button and take your HTV off of your mat. Now you guys will notice I'm using a blue mat. This blue mat is really sticky, so it's totally fine to use a blue mat with vinyl as long as it's nice and sticky. So then we're gonna do, the next one is our holographic big sparkle. So we'll do that one next again. I'll drape it over my machine and I just lay it down on my mat. And you guys notice I don't use Cricut brand mats real often. I find that the off-brand mats work really, really well and actually for me stay stickier longer. I'll link these mats down in the description box below for you guys. They're super inexpensive and they last forever. So let's cut this one out. Now that you've cut out your holographic HTV, we are gonna cut out the StarCraft SoftFlex, but we need to change our cut setting. And that's as simple as going back to your computer right here and where it says base material set to, just go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna just choose the everyday iron on setting. Now we can go back over to the machine and load in our StarCraft SoftFlex. Now it's time to cut the StarCraft SoftFlex. So like I told you before, make sure you go back to your machine and change that cut setting. And we're gonna just go ahead and lay this down on our mat. And this is gonna be the background, so our little offset for our hand sanitizer holders. I just thought this dark gray was one of my favorites. I feel like dark gray is kind of slept on and it looks really cool on black shirts, but I just thought this would be a really nice offset against the white and against that pink stripes. So let's go ahead and get this one cut. So these are our hand sanitizer holders. They come apart really, really simple. There's just a little button up here at the top, a little snap. Just open this snap out, and I always take my hardware out, set that to the side, and then you wanna take your plastic bottle out as well and set that over to the side. So we'll do that with both of these. The little pink stripe one is so cute. Again, some of you got white, some of you got pink stripe, just due to stock. So. The bottom of your hand sanitizer holder is going to be the top, the part without the little snap. So depending on which way you want your decals to sit will depend on where you want to put these. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these apart a little bit so that I can put them on. So again, this is going to be StarCraft Soft Flex for the gray. And I'm just going to lay those on there. I kind of like them angled. I think that just gives it a little more... Um, interest and fun and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut apart our holographic here and then we can go ahead and press now you are gonna need to press the StarCraft soft flex first and then the holographic after that so it's really really easy to do we're just gonna use our easy press but you can use your heat press you can use an iron that's one of the reasons I really like working with these smaller things. It's a lot easier if you don't have a heat press. Easy press works, iron works, easy press mini. I really actually like my easy press mini a lot, so I highly recommend that one if you don't have one yet. They're pretty inexpensive. You can usually find them for about $50, but you can get them cheaper as well. So like I said, I'm just cutting these apart just to piece them out so that I can put them on our hand sanitizer holders. I think I'm gonna move this one a little bit. I don't quite like where it was sitting. I want it a little higher. This one I think is sitting good. So we're gonna let our mini press heat up. It only takes a moment or two. Once that's heated, I'll show you guys how to press. 
Our mini press is heated. I have it set to the middle setting, which is fine for StarCraft HD, and it works pretty well for the holographic. So what I'm going to do is just press these down for just a few seconds. So I'm going to count to about three or four, just enough for them to stick and be held down. You don't want to do a full press for this because we are going to have to go back and press again to put the name on top. So you just do for a few seconds. And this is a warm peel, so you can just pull the carrier sheet right off. And you can see how well those are held down. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and trim around the name a little bit more. I want to get as much of the carrier sheet off as I can. That way I can probably press a couple of the stars or the hearts, whatever I'm going to do, on there at the same time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and line this up. It's not lined up. <laughs> Line that up. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. And you know what? I think just because this wants to not stick, because the carrier sheet on a holographic is not super sticky, I think I'm going to go ahead and press this before I put any of the stars on, because it does keep wanting to slide around a little bit, and we don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and press this down. This one we're going to do again just a few seconds, because when we put the stars on, we will need to press again. But remember, holographic is a cold peel, so we're gonna let that sit. And we're gonna go ahead and put this one on. Line that up. I think that's a little off on the bottom. There we go, line that up. And again, we'll just press. And again, I'm not doing a full, full press on these, but you do need to let them cool before you remove them. So I'm gonna let those sit for a few moments. Let those cool down. It's really important that you cool these before removing. If you take them off while they're still warm, they won't be stuck. Now this one is still a little bit warm. So there's a couple things you can do. You can flip it over and press it to your table. Cool that down a little bit quicker. You can use like um, your sleeve of your shirt. Anything really will cool these down pretty quickly. Don't worry about like buying any of those gimmicky cooling blocks or anything like that. Those things are really, in my opinion, a waste of money. So now that this one's cool, we'll go ahead and go move on to the stars. So we're just gonna kind of place a few stars all around. It doesn't really matter where you put them. You can just kind of put them wherever and it's okay. You just need to make sure that your stars aren't under any of the carrier sheets. And I just cut out like a random number. I don't know if I'll use them all, but we'll see. We might. We might only use five, who knows. There's no right or wrong way to decorate. You just do whatever you like and whatever makes you happy. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over these guys. And these ones I will do more of a full press on. And you can see that I'm pressing over the name. That's totally okay. Okay, so now we're gonna follow real directions and not just, you know, make our own. And we're gonna use a piece of parchment paper. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that over the top of this and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good full press on the hearts. I am using a little bit of pressure and pressing and then I wanna press this bottom heart. One cool thing that you can do with these blanks is they're great for sublimation. You can sublimate on these. Um, the white one comes out beautifully. I don't have any sublimation prints right now. Um, so I can't because I don't have a sublimation printer, but you can absolutely sublimate on these and it's really, really, really fun. So there's one side. So let's go ahead and add the star to the other. And again, you can kind of do whatever you want with these. I just thought it'd be fun to decorate both sides just for something to do. Um, I really love this holographic HTV. I think it's super fun. I think it really stands out and I love a good sparkle. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish pressing these. I'm gonna press the other one and then I'll show you guys what they look like all finished. Here are the finished hand sanitizer holders. I think they came out really, really cute and I love the holographic HTV on these. Now remember, you can check the layering document to make sure that you can layer the vinyl that you have and you can also check the cut settings and heat settings document to make sure that you're gonna cut and heat set these correctly. I just think these were so fun and I really wanted to include these in my mystery box for you guys because these are something that I think we're gonna be seeing in our society for a really long time, 
but they make really easy, simple gifts. They're pretty inexpensive and you can do a lot with them. So it's really, really fun. You can also just use the sleeves interchangeably and keep the bottles, you know, if you have a specific kind of hand sanitizer that you like. These are gonna be a really easy craft to do and I feel like you guys can really make something beautiful. If you make something with your hand sanitizer holder, please tag me on Facebook or on Instagram. It's at Corinne underscore Blackstone Crafts. I would love to see all the beautiful things that you guys make with everything from my mystery box. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below and let me know if you want to see me do more mystery boxes. I hope you guys had so much fun and happy crafting.